templates provides you with the design and the layout to work with. However, you can start creating your document from the scratch. This requires the knowledge of Microsoft Word. A blank document presents you with an empty page. You will need to add text, images, shapes, and placeholders in order to create a professional document. In this tutorial, we are going to work from the scratch to create two different kinds of documents, the resume and an invoice. This tutorial is an illustration on how you can create a resume from the scratch. Uh, we, the resume we are going to create is something that looks like this. You know, it's a one page curriculum vitae. So we are going to create something like this. So how do we start? Now you open your Microsoft Word. Open your Microsoft Word. Um, then you use the blank document. So here, when the blank document opens, the first thing we need to do is to set our layout. Let's set the margin to narrow. Okay, then I will press enter. Then in the first part, I will type resume. <coughs> Note the E of the resume. I will place it at the center, go to home, center, okay, increase the font, let's make it 20, then I will remove this E and go to insert, under symbols, I will select more symbols and I will click on this E, double click on E, and uh, that's the resume, then go to the next line, and I will highlight it, when you highlight, you go to layout, under page setup, select column, and you select left, okay, what this means is that from here down is going to have two columns while the left hand side only is smaller <clears throat> then the first thing we are going to do here press and enter then go back the first thing we are going to do we look at our resume we have an image then followed with a table so what we are going to do now is to place this at the center simply press ctrl e and uh, insert an image so under insert click pictures from this device we locate an image let's use this image actually is your picture that you are supposed to use then click on insert so we've inserted the image this image, we want to place it at the center. So I'm going to put, pick up the position and uh, I will, you know, um, okay, uh, what I'm going to do is to use, okay, it's at the center already. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, go to picture format, under crop, this is under size, then click on crop, points to crop to shape and select circle that is an ellipse then we make it to be in a circular form what it means is this down and the up is supposed to be of the same size okay um i got something like this oh no it's still Let's reduce it. Four points. 
a little bit more okay something like this is okay okay so you've had your image now the next thing you need to do is to create a table for the objectives so here I can decide to create a table with one two three rows one two three rows if I create a table one two three rows so that I will have the first row the second row and the third row so I will go down to insert click on tables I can simply select this one two three that gives me the table with three rows okay I will now under borders here I will have to remove the the borders completely so what I'm going to do now is to look at um, okay let me use the the um, um, what do I okay under borders here now we we'll remove the bottom okay just remove all borders okay removing all borders means I won't have the border but I have the first one I can go to the second one and I can go to the third one now to differentiate them uh, the first one here I'm going to use um, shading to apply to the first one let me use this kind of shading and uh, the third one so I will still use the same shading in the third one so here the second one only is white okay what it now means is that in the first one what I have there is um, objectives so I will have to type objectives and I will bold it control B and uh, I will add color which is blue to it then under it I will start typing my objectives okay you type your objectives there let's assume you keep on typing the objectives and uh, it takes you to that extent then in the second one we have um, skills so I will type skills and uh, I will come here select this and uh, I will click on format painter and uh, I will use it to format here okay so under your skills number one I remember I'm going to remove the blue here so the um I will have to remove formatting <clears throat> so so I have ability to number one ability to number two ability to number three ability to and so on and so forth until your skills are over then you go to the next row and here we have um, contacts so you can type in your contacts contacts 
so as we did before highlight this format painter highlight this and uh, you format it then the first thing there is the residential address followed by email address followed by your mobile number so you put in in bold residential address which will come here my residential address then followed by email address email address https at gmail.com whatever then followed by your phone number mobile number okay so you have mobile number plus two three four eight zero three seven two seven whatever and the rest of them then when you are done here you will need to move over to the next column uh, actually when you are typing everything here is supposed to be filled up so to move over to this place what you need to do is to go down to layout click on break then click on column break so you cross over to the other side now on this side you can still do the same thing you did in the left hand side here you are going to include your bio data your education qualification your work experience and uh, that means we are having about three rows here now the divider in the rows is a border so what we are going to do here is we also go to inserts table one two three um, but this table we are going to ensure that it covers the entire space here and you can drag it down like this now as you're typing it we keep on increasing based on the particular row you're working on but let's leave it like this now i'm going to go to borders i will look at more borders and shading and when it appears i will remove the border here and the border here and of course the border here and the border here i will be left with only the middle border and i will click ok so that's what i have now so the first row here is where i'm going to look at my bio data so i will type bio data and of course as i have um, formatted previously here that's where you get your first name last name gender state of origin and the rest of them so you can say first name and you put in your name and uh, anyhow you want it so you keep on working on that last name okay i will double click here choose format painter and i will format this one to run with that now here i will need to format it with this which is this bold and uh, so that everything will be um will have the same format so here we still click on format painter and uh, i will select the first name i will click on the format painter and i will select this last name and uh, so on so that's how you fill it up include everything that is here 
your gender, your state of origin, your LGA, your next of kin. Now you have to do that um, as you are working though, because we don't have the time to complete the whole thing. So you move into your educational qualification, educational qualification. Okay, but eventually you did not on, turn on your caps lock and you have something like this. Okay, what you need to do <clears throat> is to highlight it and uh, under home, you select here and choose uppercase. Now remember, I am formatting this with this. So I have to click here and uh, I will highlight with this. Okay, so my educational qualification will be here and uh, my work experience will be here. So here I will have to type work experience. Okay, of course, if you do not want to go here, what you need to do is to highlight the same and uh, of course you hold the shift key and press the F3 and you keep on pressing it to um, get what you really want here it gave me the uppercase so I can highlight this and click on the format painter and I will use it to format this one I like this click on format painter and I will use it to highlight this one so that it gives me exactly what I want now this is a typical way you will create your resume including your passport your detail in a while the, the shorter detail like your objective your skills your contact information and any other thing concerning your profile here in the left and your bio data your qualifications and work experience and including achievements you can include them here so your regime should be just a page so everything you do you do it to be um, very brief so that at a glance someone who is looking at your regime will be able to capture everything you have already written so if you have a question please you can kindly put it down on the comment section okay in this tutorial we are going to create an invoice the invoice we are going to create will look like this now there are different ways you can create an invoice so it depends on what you really need then but judging from what we are going to do you can be able to create any kind of invoice of your choice um here we are going to start remember we've did this so we just close it and uh, press ctrl f4 to close that and uh, press ctrl n to start a new page now in this new document what we will do is to first of all set up the page um, depending on the size of your invoice it depends on the paper you want to print it or you want to create an electronic invoice now what you will do is to first of all select a paper size I'm going to choose an <clears throat> A5 size and you go to margin and set up the margin let's use narrow and judging from what we have here what we are going to first of all do is to create um, the logo side and for the company information and the information of the the customer so here we are going to go to insert and we select um, the text box so here on the shapes here we select the text box and I would create a kind of um, box here and I will also create okay I this box I will 
and sure under here remember i'm just trying to illustrate something so you might not really be following that easily so here i will duplicate this so that i will have it somewhere here too and i'm going to ensure that both of them are aligned um same okay here i will have to insert the logo place this on the center I'll insert the logo the company logo so from the device okay let's take the company logo here so inside the text box also okay so this is the company's logo here now underneath it I'm going to I needed to do something excuse I will remove the logo yet and press enter because I need to extend it a little so that I will have um, the company I will have the company's address company name company name and address so I will have to stretch it a little bit like this so here you place the company name and you place the company's address okay so the logo will now come up okay okay so that um, the two of them will be there apparently okay that's good okay right now for here I'm going to have the invoice written as invoice maybe it depends on how you want it to be now some people might say let them have invoice here so you can also use you can place the cursor at the center and simply type invoice here just to indicate that this is an invoice now you can increase this font size okay but in that case i'm going to bring this down a bit so here now i will also bring it down a bit okay now what it means is i'm going to i'm going to include the date the invoice number so here i will now include dates now if it's going to be a manual invoice you will just add line like this so that the invoice while writing the invoice you include your date and if you are going to use electronic invoice what you need to do is when you have put up your dates like this you go to insert under quick parts document property you select them um, publish date and uh, you remove this publish and put selected date select date uh, you can just put something like this to indicate that you are you have to select a date from here now whenever you click here you'll be able to select a particular date of the day you are working with now having done that you also need to include your invoice number so I will have to put invoice number now your invoice number can be anything your invoice number can be anything depending on how you want to do it you can start from 000 something whatever however you want it so that's your invoice number then you know that you are going to include a space where the address of the customer and the name of the customer is going to appear so depending on how you want to work it out like here I can duplicate this then I will bring it down here 
and I will remove these, delete them, and they go to insert a table. I can have any number of lines, let's say three lines, um, three, three rows like this for me to work out for me to work it out so that customer's name and uh, address will be included so in this table i will have to remove the border by the side by the side at the top only and leave it down one so here i'll have something like this so this is your invoice number this is your where your your customer's name is going to appear and your address and uh, i think that's good to go then the next thing you need to do is to bring down this cursor by pressing enter until it comes down then you are you need to include the description list like this so here we are going to work with a table so here you have a table of um, one two three four columns and any number of rows depending on how you want it but here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven rows so what we do is we go to insert let's choose um, insert table column we have um, four columns so we have four columns and we have 11 rows so we use auto fit to content and that's it wait a minute this is not what we did we had inserts a table four columns and 11 rows okay 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 so we have something like this because we have to drag it to cover the space we have you can bring it down depending on the space you want to occupy okay then this one you adjust it for the quantity that's what we have there then the description on uh, this one we adjust it like this for the unit price and uh, we adjust it a little so the description size is going to be quite larger so here we have quantity description unit price and total price so here you have quantity description unit price total price or get about call amount let's just say amount okay we highlight this entirely bold it and place it them at the center okay now what we are going to do is what we are going to do is to I think we're done is to get the this part the subtotal part and the total so the last three here we have the total here we have the parts VAT. here we have the sub total okay so what we would do here is to bold them and place them um, to the right like this so as a matter of fact we don't need from here to here from here to here so there are two ways to do that but we're going to use just the first one so we go to table layout we choose the eraser tool then we use the eraser tool to erase all these stops here 
all these stuffs here. Okay, um, depending on how you want it, if I actually want um, to remove this place, I think I will also do that. What is that? Okay. The eraser tool is trying to unlock here. Okay, so here. I can leave it this way. It's still okay. Let's print preview it and see how it looks like. That's exactly what it is. Now, if I also want to remove these ones, then so that it will appear exactly like this, you still use the eraser to to delete these ones the way we did it and that's it we have just created an invoice and uh, you can make it appear the way you want it to appear um, the essence of this tutorial is not to teach you Microsoft Word at a glance but to let you see how and what you are going to be working with doing with Microsoft Word as you have uh, the moment you finish learning it now you, you work like a professional and be able to do some things on your own from the scratch so as we continue with our tutorials on microsoft world we are going to do different things and teach you exactly how you will be able to achieve some of these things easily and speedily so we end today's tutorial here i ask you please to subscribe to the channel and help us share and uh, comment on the channel please whatever question you have just put it down on the comment section and we'll be able to answer them as soon as we receive them thank you for your time and i know we will write on as we continue with the tutorial see you in the next video